Hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. Today we're gonna make some uh, some food because we are in the deep forest uh, hunting cabin or deep forest wilderness cabin, whatever you can call it. And uh, I have uh, hauled in some food just to prepare it here. It is not very, uh, what you can say, weight and space efficient to bring this. This is a classic Russian dish called Salyanka. But basically this uh, dish soup, Salyanka, is this kind of soups that you can, uh, with, with, that there's a lot of variations of, you can say. Some make them with fish, some they make it with a lemon as well, some do not, and blah blah blah. Anyway, this is really tasty and really awesome. So what we have here is uh, black pitted olives, we have some cornichons, some uh, cucumbers. This is the smallest uh, jar I could get, so uh, it doesn't have to be the small ones, it's better with the big ones. Then we have some... Uh, tomato paste, we have some meat spice, two onions, some uh, pasta and some uh, salted and smoked bacon that we're gonna cut up right now. As said, we're gonna need some bacon kind of a thing. Take a rather good piece. Let's get rid of this stuff here. This is gonna be made with uh, authentic semi-dirty woodman's fingers, but a clean knife. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, cut up the bacon, then we're gonna chop off the onions, and this we're gonna fry on the frying pan in the in the cabin here on the stove, and then we're gonna put some spices on. So I will get on with that and get back to you guys. So the bacon is on the frying pan already. Now we're just gonna chop these onions here into woodsman size. And then we'll go and uh, team it up with the bacon. As you can see over there we have a large operation of uh, water boiling and whatnot going on. And I need my other hand, so see you guys. As you can see, we have the tactical Sega shotgun at the ready. That's because we're cooking bacon. And here around the bacon cabin, the hunting cabin, there is one rule and one rule only. That is, keep your claws and paws off my bacon or you will die. So now it's the fun part here. And the fun part consists of chopping the pitted olives and these small cucumbers up into tiny bits. Normally you would actually take the cucumbers, large cucumbers, and uh, shred them on a cheese grater like thing, but I do not have cheese grater like thing here, so I'll just chop them up. Okay, so the bacon have been frying pretty well, so let's add some spices. No need to be shy with spices. We just add a good amount here. So it's gonna be thrown away anyway, so we're gonna take the woodsman's multi-tool here when it comes to cooking. Good sized teaspoon, never go wrong with that. It's already very hot on this oven here. Wow. This is not too bad. So here we have our Awesome onions with the spice mix and bacon. We will take the olives here now and uh, and then dunk them in here. We can do like this. Now I'm gonna take the small cucumbers and do exactly the same. We are chopping small cucumbers. That is also why I bought them small because uh, as I say I don't have a grater here cheese grater, what we can call it, but that's normally how you would do it. As I said, the soup here is called Salyanka. Salyanka, the word sol means uh, salt, so uh, yeah, it should of course be a little bit salty. And uh, that's where the cucumbers here come in, because uh, in Russia anyway, there are two types of, of uh, canned Cucumbers, you guys call it pickles, but pickles are here are not just pickles, right? There are salted cucumbers and then there are marinated cucumbers. And uh, the marinated ones are in a different marinade than salt, actually. And uh, it's very easy to, to taste the difference. 
how many cucumbers you would like to have in your Salyanka depends on uh, personal preference you can say. Some use uh, some a little bit of lemon, fresh lemon in the soup also. It uh, can actually taste quite nice. Some use fish but uh, I'm not really a big fan of fish soups to put it mildly. Some restaurants who make Salyanka they will just take uh, Basically all the different uh, meat products they have left over and uh, jam them into the Solyanka, <laughs> which is fair enough. You gotta use and work with what you have, right? So this will go on the pan as well. And then on to the next step. What we have here is a mix of uh, the onions, bacon, spices, Salted cucumbers and uh, black pitted olives. Now I should put it in a pot, but I'm not really sure I'm gonna do that. But anyway, I'm gonna pour over a lot of uh, water. So it's gonna be a little soupy. And uh, when the water boils, we're gonna add some tomato paste. And then we're gonna add some pasta to it, let it boil and it's done. And it's awesome. To avoid any misunderstandings, this mix here, you do not necessarily have to uh, to, boil, to to fry. <laughs> Normally we'll just add the water straight away. I have the water over there and I will add that now. And of course helps when the water is pre-boiled. That should be a good enough amount of water. Then we just have to let it boil or make it boil and add some uh, tomato paste and then some uh, and then some uh, pasta. Maybe I'll add half of this or something. We'll see. There's something, if you want to make this dish, you find out for your own taste. And why it has to be added while the water is boiling, I don't know. This just what my wife has told me. It's pretty darn hot over this oven here. Maybe I will add a little bit of water to this when uh, adding the, the pasta. First I'll let this boil a little bit and then I'll add the pasta. And uh, yeah, they can be there the last 10-15 minutes. My bet is it's gonna take a little while to boil this pasta on a... Well, make, making this on a pan normally or make it in a pot of course. Now I can see I've actually used about three quarters of this uh, tomato paste here. So. And how much pasta you put in it is also personal preference. I think I will uh, add a little bit more off camera because uh, this is what I'm gonna eat today and tomorrow. <laughs> Basically, the food is done. So that is how you make salyanka in the deep forest. Some they use sausage and bacon. At home I use the bacon and I add uh, chicken breast for example, uh, when I make a lot of it. So uh, yeah, you can basically do what you want. So guys, please check the links down in the description. Sub share, subscribe, sub bell, sub like and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and swing, get it done, and see you next time here in Russia. Thank you for your time.